Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Cadillac CTS-V sedan. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this building price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2019 Cadillac CTS-V is a great example of getting the best of both worlds, serving as a practical companion during the week and turning into a track day weapon on the weekend. Just like Cadillac's regular CTS, the CTS-V has four doors, a comfortable interior, and loads of features. Unlike the CTS though, the CTS-V has a Corvette-derived supercharged V8 good for 640 horsepower. It also comes with an adjustable suspension and high-performance high brakes to give it absurdly high levels of capability. You can also see that it does 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds and has a top track speed of 200 miles an hour. The MSRP, the starting MSRP is 86995 I routinely look these cars up because I love them. I routinely look these cars up on Auto Trader and I see them going for 90 is something thousand to you know, $102,000, $103,000. So I suspect that our building price today is going to end up somewhere around $100,000, $103,000. We'll be north of $100,000. Um, I love these cars. I actually did the 2018 Cadillac CTS v, uh, v. It was one of the first cars I did on this channel. And so uh, I'm going to put a link up to that uh, video. We can see what differences, if any, <laughs> there are between this car now and if I even do any different options. We'll see if I still love it exactly the same way. All right, so it says they've got exhilarating performance. We already know that big 6.2 liter V8, 640 horse, 630 pound feet of torque. We're going to obviously hear a lot about this stuff over and over again. It's going to be redundant, but we want to hear about it because it's a big deal. The magnetic ride control, performance traction management, that's all good. As good as that is, every vehicle has pros and cons. As much as I love this Cadillac, it has pros and cons too. So uh, let's take a look at another module and then talk about some pros and cons. Top Gear says the fastest Cadillac you can buy is hushed and calmed with instant warp power and a smooth level ride. And it says available Recaro performance seat. So, all right, so we heard about that. That's really cool. But let's talk about some pros. We know what the pros are. Number one, it's got that big, powerful uh, supercharged V8, of course. Then it's got that world-class handling with the magnetic ride control. And then uh, my third pro for this vehicle was it's got superior support from these what? These Recaro seats. I mean, really, we're looking at it right here, this trifecta right here. You've got the engine, you've got the, the suspension, and you've got the seating. That's your trifecta of performance right there for this vehicle. Here they're showing the interior and the different interior colors that you can get. Uh, I didn't forget about talking about the cons, and we'll do that in a second. But let's look at these uh, other colors. So this was light platinum semi-aniline with jet black accents. This is light platinum. Oh, and then they just show it from a different angle, right? They show it from, from the driver's perspective, and then they show a whole cabin shot. And then here it is with the jet black with the saffron, all right? And then here's a, the other angle of that. Then here's the jet black with the jet black accent, right? So your triple black or your double black or whatever you want, all black. Then here's your side shot. I like that. So this is, these are the regular seats. These are the non-Recaro seats. Um, here's, the, here's the Recaro seats now in platinum. And then the, the Recaro seats are sweet. And then here's the Recaro seat in saffron. I'll just skip to this seat or to this shot. And then here's this Recaro seat in black. Right, so saffron uh, and platinum, right? Platinum, saffron. Saffron's nice too, actually. I used to not like it, but the saffron's growing on me. And then the all black. Okay, so we did all that. We talked about the pros. I've got four cons real quick. Let's talk about the four cons. As nice as this cabin is, as nice as this cabin is, and it's nice, it's not. It's it's less luxurious than those of competitors. What your BMW M5, your Mercedes E63. I did videos of both. I'm gonna put a link up to each one right now. Actually, I'll put a link up to my performance sedans folder. I have a big playlist because I've done lots of performance sedans in addition to these Cadillacs and the M5s and all that. 
So if you like performance and dance as much as I do, that's why I started a playlist. I'm going to I'm just going to put a link up to that playlist. Then you can look at all the all the high performance sedans I've done, including the M5 and the E63 S Formatic, which I love that car, too. But I just think these Cadillacs are hot. Only comes in a few simple colors. Uh, we got Black Raven. That's my color choice. Uh, crystal White. I also like the Crystal White. I was always a big fan. But something lately, I'm all about the black all of a sudden. Uh, Velocity Red. I like them all, really. Satin Steel Metallic. I've even seen one in Wave Blue. Matter of fact, I just did an article. I did a deep review. I forgot all about it on my website about the 2019 Cadillac CTS-V. And it's hot. And I have a photo on that on that uh, on that review of a blue one. It looks really good. I'm going to put a link to that article in the description below. You can consider the CTS-V as a heavily modified CTS. And as such, there aren't any other trims or levels. You get what you get. But there are packages. And I recommend the luxury package for its 60-40 split folding rear seat heated rear seats and window shades like uh, like the German sedans. If you get it, if you get a chance to sit in it, I'd also probably want to take a sit in those Recaro seats too. I bet you they're really nice whether you're on a track or a mountain road or even on the daily commute. But we can see here for 86,995 what our base little uh and this is just the highlights page, right? We're on the highlights page. We're going to go through all the features, the gallery and we'll check the trim and specs. We'll go through all these before we hit our building price. So we're just kind of looking at the highlights, the Brembo performance brakes, the magnetic ride control, the 19-inch wheels on the Michelin Pilot Super Sport, super low-profile, summer-only tires. There's also the V-Series uh, Academy that you can do. I think they'll have something on it in the building price when we get there, so we're not going to spend a lot of time talking about the Academy. But it's where you can go drive, learn how to drive this car. It's got a lot of power. I know I'd want to go. Okay, let's talk features. 2019 Cadillac CTS-V features. Let's talk them. No surprise, they're going to start off with the best things first. They're going to talk about their supercar-like performance. Most powerful engine ever installed in a production Cadillac. 6.2 liter V8, earth-shattering 640 horse, 630 torque, 0 to 60, 3.7 seconds. That's got to be with launch control, surely. Top track speed, 200 miles an hour. Or on the highway if you think you can do it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Don't do that, of course. Uh, and then they give us the specs at a glance that we can look at. Uh, what else? The 8-speed automatic transmission with magnesium paddle shifters. Features performance algorithm shifting. Automatically activated by intense G-forces. It seamlessly selects the best gear for quicker shifts and faster lap times. The competition spec traction. Uh, performance traction management integrates traction, engine control systems, uh, improve consistent cornering when you're doing spirited driving. Uh, drive mode selector, you got track mode. You can choose your ultimate level of control, wet, dry, sport one, sport two, race. Look at this, re look at this beautiful, I should say, reconfigurable TFT screen. Just gorgeous. These cars are just, to me, they are just the prettiest. I don't care what color you get them in. Uh, except if you get that platinum interior. I don't like the platinum interior. Here's some more of their track-capable features. The Brembo high-performance brakes, massive racing-inspired six-piston front, four-piston rear, fixed-caliber Brembo brakes with vented roller rotors for firm pedal feel and unmatched confidence. Then they're talking about their magnetic ride control. It reads the road up to 1,000 times per second. The reaction time is so quick at 60 miles an hour, it reads every inch of pavement travel for more confidence on the track and more confident on comfort on the road. And then they're talking about the set, the tires they've selected for this car, the Michelin Pilot Super Sport. They're summer only tires, which means if you drive this thing all year round and you don't live in a climate that uh, that works with a summer only tire all year round, you're going to need to run a second set of tires on this car. At any rate, uh, these tires are going to give you ultra high performance driving, offering excellent grip. Enhanced ride quality and extended tread wear. Oh, how extended? Because the compound's got to be pretty soft. But, you know, it's a performance tire. You expect you don't expect them to last very long. So, moving on to the exterior. Uh, every grill and vent serves a higher performance. Uh, yeah. The other is re uh, revised for the uh, reveal for the track. So, they're basically saying that every, every, every angle of this car has a purpose. Every design. This car can be 
docile. It can be a nice, easy daily driver, or it could be something else completely on the track. Here they're talking about the carbon fiber package, which I love, and we will be getting the available carbon fiber package. Pairs an aero optimized, exposed, weave carbon fiber front splitter, hood extractor, rear diffuser, with even more aggressive rear spoiler and greater traction at high speeds. And then they're talking about their forged alloy wheels. Take note of the wheel lock right there. Very nice. Uh, forged from billet aluminum. They help reduce unsprung weight for greater cornering and more direct steering feel. These wheels are the perfect complement to the 19-inch Michelin Pilot Supersport Summer Only Low Profile Tires. Under interior, it says the uh, CTSV is a celebration of precision engineering and luxury craftsmanship. Driver-centric cabin punctuated by refined performance materials and meticulously detailed finishes. They got the Recaro performance seats. There's 16-way adjustability, slip-resistant microfiber suede inserts, aggressive bolsters, cradle your body. Then they're talking about their steering wheel. It's a super thick steering wheel. It's a multifunction steering wheel so because it's got controls on it. Um, and you can even get it with the microfiber. You can get the steering wheel and the gear shifter in microfiber. Then they've got the carbon fiber trim, uh, exposed carbon fiber accents with contrasting silver weave to exhilarate your senses even at standstill. And then crafted for a perfect finish, cut and sewn semi-aniline leather, suede microfiber aluminum, and carbon fiber finish the cabin in sophisticated refinement with, uh, with a subtle nod to our racing spirit, the spirit of Cadillac racing, that is. Under technology, the first thing they're going to show you on this particular model of CTS, the V, is that performance data recorder. You can record your track driving, recording video, audio, and performance data in real time that can be viewed on the Q, uh, be view, reviewed on the system, the Q system, what they're looking at there. Or you can uh, save to an SD card and watch it later. You can have four overlays, sport, track performance, or tour to help analyze your skills. Uh, it also offers a video-only valet mode, so you know how uh, the people parking your V-Series are treating it. That's pretty cool. And then it says there's a free download to V-Series owners. The Cosworth Toolbox can be used in conjunction with PDR for more detailed analysis or analysis. Okay. Uh, and then what? The infotainment center or the infotainment system? Connects you with the world around you to make driving easier, right? Uh, apps, maps, weather, music, customized. You can receive updates, latest weather. Everything. This is the Cadillac Q, the uh, Cadillac user experience. Apple CarPlay with your phone, integrate Apple CarPlay. Uh, Siri, the music, your, your maps, uh, some other apps. That's your music. Here's that reconfigurable LCD screen again, 12.3 inch, uh, customizable with three unique themes. It displays drive modes, oil and tire pressure, speedometer, trip information. Uh, and it's got a heads-up display as well. Here's a few more technology features. They got the curb view camera, so that way you don't you don't scratch up the front of that the front end of your uh, brand new Cadillac with all that carbon fiber up front. If you got the carbon fiber package, so that way it lets you see the front of the curb, so you don't hit it. Uh, and then there's an innovative rear camera, right? Innovative look back driving. The rear camera mirror streams. Mirror streams rear-facing HD video that provides a wide, less obstructed view. Then they've got this upgraded Bose sound system. The, it's called Bose CenterPoint Audio. Uh, 13 speakers with active noise cancellation. And then here's the Cadillac built-in Wi-Fi hotspot they have. You can connect up to seven devices from 50 feet away. right? And if you buy a new one, it says it comes with a three-month trial or three gigabytes of data, whichever comes first. Okay, we got through all the features. Let's just kind of run through these 14 slides real fast. There's that mirror, camera mirror. There's a stock Cadillac seat. There's those magnesium paddle shifters. There's the Recaro seats with the black and saffron. Uh, there's a Cadillac out on the track. Cadillac parked on the street. Cadillac from the top view, looking very beautiful. Out on the road. With red brake calipers. They're very nice. Aren't they gorgeous? This one's got the carbon fiber package. If it's got the rear spoiler sticking up like that in black, it's got the carbon fiber package. If it's got the hood, you can really, if it's got all this carbon fiber down here, it's got the carbon fiber package. 
you can see it on on cars that aren't black. If the if the heat extractors are black, then it's got the carbon fiber package. Not so easy to tell on a black car, but you know. So here under trim, we just want to kind of just look at the features just to see them at a glance. We can kind of see under performance. Uh, we won't look at. I'm not gonna read off every one of them. So if you want to like make sure you check everything, right? But exterior, right here's the interior. Twenty way seats are standard. Automatic heated steering wheel, adaptive remote start. You've got uh, rear cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, lane departure warning. So you got a lot of good tech. You got a premium Bose sound system already, wireless charging, automatic parking, full color head up display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Anything else? What else is there? A selection of available features. So you can get the carbon fiber package, you can get the Recaro seats. You can get that suede microfiber steering wheel, I was saying. The luxury package it gives you the tri-zone climate control, the rear camera, the rear split-folding seat, right? All that good stuff. Then the, ex then the exterior, you can choose red or dark gold calipers, the sunroof, the 19-inch wheels, or you can get the 19-inch wheels in black as well. Down here under technology, you can opt for that performance data recorder, advanced security package, and gives you all these different things. All right, uh, let's check the specs, and then we'll do the build and price. Just some quick highlights real fast. Uh, it's 376 cubic inch engine, 6.2 liter, 640 horse, 630 torque at 3,600 RPMs. Um, let's go to some other things real fast. We're just going to run through the highlights. These are just the highlights of the features. Uh, and again, I'm not going to run through all of them, or I'm not going to mention all of them. If you want to make sure you read all of them, just pause the video real fast. You got the electronic limited slip. You got that magnetic ride control, uh, keyless open, remote start. Um, well, I guess not all of these are the exact features because I know this is an option, the Recaro seats. So I guess these are just some of the things. I mean, I guess all the different things that you can put on here. Because, obviously, the Recaro seats are not the thing. So I thought that was going to all be standard equipment. The Bose center point is not standard equipment. You know what? Let's just go over to build and price. We can find it out there. Okay, build and price. Let's run through these photos. Or the, yeah, these images real fast. Let's take a look at the interior photos real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Go back to the exterior. So CTSV is checked. Uh, only comes in rear wheel drive, 6.2. Let's go to the colors. I already know that I want to have that black Raven. We're doing ours in all black. Um, and then for the seats, for the seats, I want the jet black with jet black accent leather with suede microfiber inserts. I want that. I want the all black seats. Oh, no. I want the jet black with the semi-aniline leather. Is that the upgraded leather? I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. I'm not really sure. Uh, oh, okay, so that's what the Recaro seats. Yeah, I want the Recaro seats. So, yep, $2,300 option. That works. That's why that looked a little off. All right, so there's the Recaro seat option. Mm, and they look good. All black. All black car. Triple black. All black. Let's take a look at the packages. We're definitely getting the carbon fiber package. What does that give you? Carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber front splitter, carbon fiber rear spoiler, carbon fiber rear diffuser. Sold. $6,200. I don't care what it costs. We're getting it. Luxury package. Tri-zone automatic climate control, rear window power sunshade. Uh, what else? What else? Heated rear seats. Power rear window sunshades, da da da, da. $2,500. I think it's a worthwhile option to get. We're getting it. At the, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you spend $105,000 on this car. It's going to be fifteen dollars to $25,000 cheaper than an E63 or BMW M5 or, or, or certainly that much cheaper than a Porsche Panamera, for sure, right? For sure. Let's get the advanced security package. That gives us the locking wheel lugs, the steering column lock, theft deterrent system. Yeah, I want that for $600. It should be on the car anyway. Anyway, so yep, we got that for 600 bucks, and then all-weather mats, 
Premium all weather floor mats, premium all weather cargo mat. Yep, I want that for two and a quarter. Yep, give us that. And then, do I need the battery protection package? That basically what gives me a battery charger. If I was going to do a battery charger, no disrespect, Cadillac, but I'm going to pick a different brand. Uh, what is the pedestal edition? What is that all about? Highlights include, yes, yeah, show me more. Show us more. Luxury package. Oh, okay, so this throws everything on there. Luxury package, carbon fiber package, body color, non-illuminated door handles. Non-illuminated? No, I want, I want the illumination in the door handles. But it gives you everything after midnight painted wheels. Wow, it gives you everything. But I don't like that it said non-illuminated door handles. I want the illumination of the door handles. And so forget that. I'll buy everything a la carte if I need to because I like that the light that the door handles have lights on them and they light up. Um, let's go to the exterior. Uh, okay, so this is 19-inch Forge Premium Wheel Alloy. And this is wheels with midnight silver paint. Okay, let's do this. I want, I want a little bit of upgrade, but nothing too crazy. A little bit of black in there, but not too much. Uh, what do we got? We have only one transmission, so we don't have to worry about that. Carbon fiber engine cover? Yes. You want to see a photo? Me too. Right here, that's the carbon fiber engine cover. Select. Uh, I like the brake colors in gold. The brake calipers in gold. I like the gold look. So all black car with the gold caliper. That's going to look really good, I think. Can we get another shot? Will that give us a better shot? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, we have the wheel locks. Um, the black grill with chrome surround. Black chrome V-Series grill, 495 Yeah, give me the black chrome, as long as it doesn't remove anything. I don't know what a base splitter is, because we already have the whole front. We already have the carbon fiber package, so I'm not going to mess with that. License plate bracket. I'm sure the dealer is going to give you one when you buy the car. Okay, over here in interior, we're pretty much set. We got our Recaros. You know, we've. I don't want the Morello carbon fiber trim. I don't want that. Do I want the performance data recorder? Technically, yeah, I do actually. I do want the performance data recorder. I do want that. Um, what else do I want? I want the steering wheel. And the shift knob to be in, in microfiber. I want that extra performance look. Uh, what else? Ultra view power sunroof. Give me the sunroof. Uh, what else? I think we might be good. There's not Everything else is pretty much bundled in there. Because I don't want to do the red insert. I don't want to do any of the red. I like it. And all the black is fine for me. Uh, let's take a look at the accessories. They won't be anything, but let's take a look at the accessories. Okay, so here we are. We're at the summary. Car was just under $87,000. We added quite a few uh, bucks in packages and selected options, and now we're sitting at $106,000. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, but before I do, I'm going to go ahead and print this off. So that way, if you like this build summary, I'm going to go ahead and download this and put a link in the description below so that way you can grab this build summary too. Uh, also, while you're down in the description, make sure you go check out the article on my website where I did a full, deep, in-depth review on the 2019 CTS-V uh, Cadillac, CTS-V sedan. Love this car. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you've made it to the end, you're awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You're the best. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, other than that, you have a wonderful day, and uh, thank you again.